point members today we're going to go through a lower body strength training workout it's going to be an add-on uh, routine so that just means that we're going to be adding some exercises into an exercise we've already done so there are going to be some arm components but mostly we're focusing on lower body today so if you've been really wanting to work that this is the video for you so i'm going to be using um a jar of laundry detergent for my weight because I don't have any weights at home. So use whatever you have um, at home available to you to do some weight training. So for this first one, you don't necessarily need a weight, but you can choose to hold on to it if you'd like. I'm gonna just go ahead and do it without for body weight. So we're going to start by doing just a squat, plain old squat. So come down, weight back in your heels, squat and come up tall. So with our first part of the exercise, we're gonna do 12 reps. So we're gonna do squats 12 times. So go ahead and do your 12 squats. When you're done, we're going to add in a calf raise. So I'm coming down into my squat, come up, calf raise. Squat, calf raise. So we're gonna do this five times. So we've already done 12 squats. Now we're gonna do five squat into calf raise. When you get to your last five, we're gonna stay up on our toes and do pulses. Up a little bit higher, not letting those heels touch the floor. So lift for five. Five, four, three, two, and one. So there is our first exercise. The next exercise that we're going to do are going to be a side lunge, holding onto your weight just to give a little extra. So side lunge, don't let your knee go over your toe, stay back in your glute. And again, we're gonna do 12 on that right leg. So once you get 12 side lunges, we're going to add on an overhead press. So we're gonna do our side lunge, press, back together five times. Side lunge, press, back together. So once you get your five side lunge presses, we're gonna hold out to the side and do pulses. Back in the glute, so make sure you're coming back. Pulse, five, four, three, two, and one, back to center. Then you're gonna repeat the exact same thing on your left leg. So start with your side lunges, then do your overhead press, then do your pulses. You can also just do a side step if you'd rather not go into a full lunge. That is completely fine as well. Next, we're going to do a deadlift. So I'm gonna hold onto the handle of my weight, feet about shoulder width apart, soft knees, we're bending at the hips. We're not bending at the knees. And you wanna look straight ahead to keep your back flat. That's the biggest thing here. So if you can't go as far as me, that's okay too. You wanna to keep good form through there. We're gonna do a deadlift and come up nice and tall. Hinge the hips forward, reach and up. If you have tight hamstrings, you might only be able to go to here, keep a nice flat back and stand tall. You should feel a stretch in through those hamstrings as you do the deadlift. Come down and back up. Our add-on is going to be an upright row. So we're coming down into that deadlift and come up, upright row. Down and upright row. There isn't a third add-on for this exercise, so you're just gonna do 12 deadlifts and then do 12 deadlifts into upright row. Okay, deadlift right in to upright row. Next up is going to be a reverse lunge. So you can hold on to that weight, take a step back, lunge and together. Lunge and together. So again, you're gonna do 12. Once you hit your 12, we're gonna hold on to this, same arm, same leg. So right arm, right leg. I'm gonna step back, overhead press, and stand tall. Step back, overhead press, and stand tall. Again, we're doing five of those. So 12 regular lunges, five step overhead press. Then we're gonna step back on our last five and do pulses. Five, four, three, two, and one. Then repeat on the other side. So we've got five or 12 lunges, then five lunge overhead press, and then five 
lunge pulses. If you don't want to do lunges, you can switch to doing a high knee drive instead and then doing an overhead press with a high knee drive as well. Okay, next one is going to be a sumo squat. So feet at a 45 degree angle. We're going to go ahead and do 12 of these. So 12 sumo squats regular. When you're done with those, we're going to do a sumo squat into a forward raise. So coming down, squat, forward raise, and up tall. Sumo squat, forward raise, and up tall. So we're going to do 12 of those as well because there is not a third add-on with that exercise. To finish out, we are going to do some ab Dr. Muscle. So you're going to lay down on the floor. You can either prop your head up with your hand if that makes you feel a little bit more comfortable. And we're going to lift that leg up to the side. So lift and lower. Make sure you're squeezing your glutes, working those adductors on the side. Okay, our add on is going to be a step in front and a step behind. <laughs> step in front and step behind. So you're going to do five of those. So 12 lifts and then five and five. If you don't want to do these on the floor, you can do them standing up as well. So we can lift out to the side and then we can do five in front and behind. Okay, so those are all the exercises. I would suggest doing those twice through, maybe even three times if you really wanna get some burn going on in your legs, but we hit the quads, hamstrings, outer thigh, calf muscles. So hopefully you're gonna be feeling it when you're done. Have a good day.